Hundreds of Muslims congregated at Chibuli Mosque to celebrate Eid al-Fitl prayers as they concluded the holy month of Ramadan. There was a feeling that this Eid was special because last year most Muslims could not go to mosques to pray since Eid came at a time when there were tighter restrictions on large gatherings as part of the efforts to curb the spread of COVID-19. Dr. Abdul Hafiz Walusimbi, the Dean of Islamic Studies at the Islamic University in Uganda, led the prayers. In his Eid message, Walusim urged government to put an end to ongoing human rights violations by the security forces. But of recent, we have witnessed that the gun has been taken or has been given or has been put in the hands of irresponsible people. Those ones who are not trained, those ones who are not respecting the human rights, those ones who have spilled the, the, the blood of the innocent people. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the blood of the human being is so sacred, is so respected. After the prayers, the faithful were hosted to lunch by the titular head of Muslims in Uganda, Prince Kasim Nachibinge Kakongulo, at his residence. While speaking before the congregants, Nachibinge called upon the president to release all political prisoners as a sign of good leadership. That's the only way we can keep whatever happened in the past. We should forge together. I've said it several times that you cannot force somebody to like what he doesn't like. You cannot force somebody to hate what he likes. Let's be magnanimous, forgive one another, and allow those people to join their families as a way of bringing all Ugandans together. Prince Nachibing also cautioned the security forces against violating human and journalists' rights. I congratulate all those who went through the elections and thank all those who are law-abiding, but also to sympathize with the members of the press who got a beating during the election period, but also to thank the UPDF High Command who tried to bridge this gap and thank them for doing the right thing only that there are still some of their foot soldiers who haven't adhered to their teachings. They are still a little bit harsh with members of the press and with the public. We pray that you bring them to order. Prince Kasim Nachibinge Kakungulu, however, asked all Ugandans to abide by the law and also follow all directives put in place during this COVID-19 period to ensure that the pandemic doesn't claim more lives. John Cliff Wamala, NTV News.